It is time for another edition of Storytime with Ms. Power. That's me, Ms. Power. Today's book is Edward the Emu. This book is written by Sheena Knowles. She is the author. And it was illustrated by Rod Clement. So what did he do? That's right. He drew these really cool pictures. Let's begin. Edward the emu was sick of the zoo. There was nowhere to go. There was nothing to do. And compared to the seals that lived right next door, well, being an emu was frankly a bore. It's okay, Edward. So that night, when the zookeeper went home to bed, Edward jumped from his pen and he laughed as he said, the seals are the best, anybody can tell. So tomorrow, I'll just be a seal as well. The next morning at nine, when they opened the zoo, the seals were swimming and Edward was too. He dived in the water and basked in the sun and he balanced a ball on his beak just for fun. <laughs> he looks kind of funny. Well, Edward was really enjoying the day till he overheard someone behind the fence say, the seals are always amusing, it's true, but the lion's the best thing to see at the zoo. So that night when the zookeeper went home to bed, Edward jumped from the pool and he smiled as he said, the lion's the best anybody can tell, so tomorrow, I'll just be a lion as well. Off he went. The next morning at nine, when they opened the zoo, the lions were roaring and Edward was too. He snarled at the ladies and growled at the men. Life was certainly grand for a lion in his den. Well, Edward was having a wonderful day till a man in the crowd had the gumption to say, The lion's a beast I shall always detest. The snakes are the things that I like to see best. So that night when the zookeeper went home to bed, Edward crept from the cage and he grinned as he said, If the snakes are the best things, and that's what they say, then tomorrow I'll just be a snake for the day. How do you think this lion is feeling about Edward climbing on his head? <laughs> the next morning at nine, when they opened the zoo, the snakes were all hissing and Edward was too. He slipped round the rocks. It was magic to see. Then he curled himself casually up round a tree. Well, Edward was just warming up for the day when he overheard one of the visitors say, the snakes are impressive, I know that it's true, but the emu's by far the best thing at the zoo. The emu, gasped Edward. My goodness, that's me. I'm the thing that that gentleman most likes to see. Not the seals, the lions, the snakes, and the rest. It's Edward the emu he likes to see best. So that night, when the zookeeper went home to bed, Edward slipped from the cage and he laughed as he said, If the emu's the best, then that's easy then. Tomorrow, I'm Edward the emu again. Edward ran to the place where he used to reside. But oh, what a shock when he clambered inside. He found himself suddenly come face to face with the emu they'd brought in to take Edward's place. You snooze, you lose, brother. The emus considered each other a while. Then the new emu said with a shy little smile, Hello, I'm Edwina. It's nice meeting you. You're the best thing I've seen since I came to the zoo. Oh, 
Isn't that sweet? Edward and Edwina. What do you think Edward realized while he was spending all this time trying to be other animals? Why don't you talk with somebody in your house about what you think he learned from these wild days at the zoo? Thanks for listening. See you soon.